Hello, this is Randy Schooneman from Bulldog Rooter. Today's date is October 10th, 2016, and we are looking at a uh, tile line for the city sewer. We're probably about 10, 15 feet away from it, but we can't push any further. We've done multiple flushes, been hammering at our cable line, and can't get it to go any further, but we're looking at a sewer line uh, for a house at 3405 South Lincoln Drive in Spokane, Washington. We have a combination of material here and we'll kind of go through it. Right now we're looking at about a, a four inch uh, tile. We're at about 129 feet, 10 inches, uh, close enough to 130 feet for me. Uh, this line was put in back in October 28th of 1969. Uh, we've got a combination here of uh, ceramic tile and orange berg and then of course before we get into the house itself we're looking at uh, uh, black iron and then there's been some remodeling uh, where they've uh, upgraded the material to ABS when they've done the additions. So we're going to start pulling back from this uh, 130 30 foot mark here. Uh, the line itself looked really good going out. Uh, we've done three toilet flushes. You can see here in the tile we've got really good grade. Uh, aspect wise the bottom of the pipe is in the left hand side you'll always be able to tell the bottom of the pipe by where the light is at because this camera is sitting at the bottom of the pipe uh, you can see a little gnat flying around in there we're using HD equipment uh, so we get spectacular uh, video images here get a lot of detail here's a, a nice joint uh, these pieces these tile pieces were made in three to four foot lengths they would uh, wrap a material called oakum around the hub and the pipe. They would tap it in with uh, some special hammers and tools to get a good tight seal and then they would seal it with concrete. That's normally a spot where you get roots encroaching but uh, we get I don't see any roots at this joint. Uh, we do have a minor separation there but uh, you can see it basically stair steps down so it's not anything that's going to give you any issues. Um, as I pull back, I'll try and keep an eye on the aspect here because as we go through elbows and joints in the pipe, we'll see it. Uh, uh, the camera will move around quite a bit in the uh, in the line. Here's another joint. Coming up on about 110 feet here pretty quickly. There's 110, we're a little past 110 now, working back towards the house. Bottom of the pipe is still on the left hand side of the screen. There's another nice normal looking joint. Here's one we can see has settled a little bit, but as you can tell it stair steps down, so it's not anything that's going to uh, uh, get in the way or impede any of the flow of solids or liquids from the house. Coming up on a hundred feet just past it, working back towards the house of course. Ninety feet right here. Looks like we're going to make a little turn. Yep, have a little bit of a... Uh, let's see here. Looks like they, we have a little bit of a separation here. Uh, they may have used a Y and beveled some of the edges, uh, but again, nothing that's going to impede the flow of solids and fluids from the house. And again, that was at 90 feet. We're still in tile. Just past the 80 foot mark, continuing to come back towards the house. Coming up on 70 feet here pretty quickly. Here's 70 at this joint. And a few little roots in there, nothing to get too worried about. Um, possibly push a little further back in here.
I'm looking at uh, on the right hand side of the screen which is there, which is the top of the pipe you can see there's a little bit of a black line uh, that could possibly be a spiral crack um, and then it runs horizontally down the pipe uh, I think those are just uh, a remnant root in there uh, right here this has got to be pretty close to the uh, uh, property line I'm going to go ahead and set my camera here this is at about 66 feet out I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to locate this outside the house uh, bear with me just one moment <coughs> 